सत्यजीत साहू एंड टुडे विल बी स्टडिंग बायोकेमिकल ऑक्सीजन डिमांड ओके सो दिस इज व्हाट बीओडी दिस इज व्हाट बीओडी बायोकेमिकल ऑक्सीजन डिमांड एंड टुडे विल बी सॉल्विंग व्हाट 10 numericals today we'll be solving what 10 numericals on this topic okay so i have started this uh, solving of 10 numericals from various important topics for your gate 2023 yes yesterday we solved questions from singly reinforced beam from concrete structures so today we'll be solving 10 important questions from your bod okay so welcome akshay juhi naman and lakshmi and dia and also welcome to all the students who are watching this lecture lecture recorded okay so let's start this biochemical oxygen demand but before that a short introduction about myself welcome archana also and welcome akans also so before starting this lecture a short introduction about myself okay my name is satyaji sahu i have done my btech and mtech both from iit khadakpur and I have 10 plus years of experience in this field of GATE and ESC, okay. And I have been selected into many of the PSUs through GATE only, okay. And I have worked with Delhi Metro Rail Corporation for a period of two years. I have also a very high score of 140 marks in ESC interview 2016, okay. And I have been teaching in more than 15 states. And I have been associated with Baijus for more than two years now. I have recorded lot of lectures for Baiju's exam prep, okay, where high quality recorded content is available for uh, for the students. You can always download the app Baiju's exam prep, okay, and you can see those videos. And also you can subscribe to this particular channel. This particular channel is Baiju's exam prep Hindi channel, but shortly from 13th of November, this particular channel will convert into what? civil and mechanical channel and both lectures of english and hindi for your civil and mechanical will happen in this channel only okay so let us start the lecture and i teach all the civil English subjects many students already know about me so i teach all the civil English subjects okay so yesterday we saw concrete structures today we'll see what bod we will see what bod so when i say bod bod is what biochemical oxygen demand it is what biochemical oxygen demand now who is demanding the oxygen <laughs> who is demanding the oxygen in the wastewater so if you have wastewater okay if we have wastewater yes this wastewater will contain what it will contain what it will contain biodegradable it will contain what biodegradable organic matter it will contain what biodegradable organic matter right okay and in this biodegradable organic matter there will be also microorganisms right there will be microorganisms yes and this biodegradable organic matter what the biodegradable organic matter will be food for this microorganisms right will be food for this microorganisms Yes. Now, when these microorganisms are feeding on this biodegradable organic matter, yes, they demand oxygen. This reaction, this biochemical reaction where the microorganisms are feeding on the biodegradable organic matter happens in the presence of oxygen. Oxygen is required. Yes. So, I can say this particular biochemical reaction. Why it is biochemical reaction? because microorganisms are involved so bio why chemical because the biodegradable organic matter is getting go eaten by what these microorganisms and this happens in the presence of what oxygen that means what this reaction is oxygen driven or oxygen is demand yes now more is the biodegradable organic matter more will be the demand right more will demand yes Yes, oxygen demand will be more, right? Now, what will happen with time? If you are plotting with time, if you are plotting with time, tell me, with time, the biodegradable organic matter will reduce or it will increase. Tell me in the comment section. Welcome Santu, welcome Saurabh Sri and welcome Swapnil, welcome Bipul everyone. 
हेलकम पृथ्वी अन्नू जितिन एवरी वन सो टेल मी विथ टाइम विथ टाइम टेल मी दिस बायोडिग्रेडेबल ऑर्गेनिक मैटर विल डिक्रीज और इंक्रीज येस इट विल डिक्रीज इट विल रिड्यूस राइट सो आई कैन से विथ टाइम येस विथ टाइम आई कैन से द बायोडिग्रेडेबल द बायोडिग्रेडेबल ऑर्गेनिक मैटर ओके द बायोडिग्रेडेबल ऑर्गेनिक मैटर रिड्यूसेस and if the biodegradable organic matter will reduce so less oxygen will be required yes so i can say the oxygen demand the oxygen demand or i can say what the biochemical oxygen demand or bod the biochemical oxygen demand or bod will reduce yes it will reduce yes so and it follows what it follows an exponential variation it follows what an exponential variation so initially at time t is equal to 0 there will be some oxygen demand suppose that is l not and this l not is known as what ultimate bod ultimate or i can say initial bod ultimate or i can say what initial bod or i can say oxygen demand it is the initial oxygen demand and it reduces and follows an exponential variation it reduces with time it reduces with time so suppose at this time t suppose at this time t suppose i am trying to find out i am trying to find out the oxygen demand lt suppose lt this lt will be how much this lt will be l not e to the power minus k into t yes because this is varying exponentially so this will be the equation right where l not is the initial or ultimate bod k is the rate constant or i can say dk constant right dk or rate constant right we can say the rate at which the microorganisms are eating the biodegradable organic matter so the rate at which the organic matter will reduce at the same rate what will happen the oxygen demand will also reduce and t is the time at which you are finding yes so this lt is what this is the bod remaining very important it is the bod remaining in time t or at time t at time t it is the bod remaining so initially at time t is equal to 0 the bod was l not ultimate bod yes at time t is equal to t i can say this much bod is remaining lt yes so now if i ask you what is the bod consumed what is the bod consumed consumed in time t the bod consumed in time t will be equal to how much tell me it will be the ultimate bod minus what the bod remaining understood everyone yes see initially it was l not at time t it is lt so i can say the reduction is how much or consumption is how much i can say l not minus lt right so i can say this much is sorry sorry so i can say that one second yeah so i can say that this much is consumed na yes you see i can say that this much is consumed right in time t yes bod consumed yes so this is what i can say l not minus l not e to the power minus k into t giving me how much if i write this further l not 1 minus e to the power minus k into t so many students get confused between these two formulas right <laughs> many students get confused between these two formulas so let us write them and then i will explain them again so when i say bod consumed okay bod consumed okay that is what the ultimate bod 1 minus e to the power minus k into t good evening santu and good evening asutosh bod consumed is this formula 
and BOD remaining is what? BAD remaining is equal to simply L naught e to the power minus kt. Okay? Everybody understood this? Everybody understood this? Agar Hindi mein bolenge to kya bolenge? Ki time t mein kitna BOD consume hua? Kitna oxygen demand consume hua? Or kitna oxygen le liya, le liya gaya? From the waste water, right? That is what? BOD consumed. I can write this as BOD t. BOD T, whenever I write BOD T, that is what? BOD consumed and BOD remaining is this one, okay? Now, whenever you hear this thing, okay, you might have heard these things, right? Like I say, pipe day BOD. When I write this term, pipe day BOD, tell me this is the BOD consumed or BOD remaining, tell me. When I write pipe day BOD, it is BOD consumed or BOD remaining, tell me in the comment section. Welcome, Maniket. When I say that BOD, 5 day BOD, okay, telegram link is not working, okay, we'll see though that, okay, we'll up update the link uh, later, okay, don't worry, now you can focus on the class, okay, so when I say 5 day BOD, 5 day BOD means what, yes, very important, it is the BOD consumed, it is the BOD consumed in 5 days, okay, so when they don't mention it is consumed or remaining and they express like this 5 day BOD, 7 day BOD, 3 day BOD that is they are referring to what? Consumed, not remaining. When they write remaining, it's remaining. Understood? Yes? Uh, huh, please, uh, what is the doubt? Please ask Karthi. What is the doubt? Please ask. Okay. Doubt you can ask. Okay. Understood? Now we will understand these things better when we solve questions now. So let us start solving questions. Okay, let us start solving questions. Any doubt you have, you can mention in the comment section. Let us start the first question. Let us start with the start question. Yes. The first question is, a wastewater sample has an initial BOD of this much. That means what? This is the ultimate or initial BOD. The first order BOD decay constant is 0.4 per day. So this is what? The K is given as how much? 0.4 per day. The BOD consumed in 5 days. Very straightforward question, right? We'll start with straightforward, then we'll move to little, you know, good questions. So the BOD consumed in 5 days. Yes, directly they've given. So I can say BOD 5. What is the formula? Per consumed it is L0. 1 minus e to the power minus K into T. Very straightforward formula, very straightforward formula, consumed, yes, that is equal to initial or ultimate BOD is this one, 1 minus e to the power minus 0.4 and t is what, 5, yes, so getting how much, 2, 2, 2, 1 minus e to the power minus 2, so how much we are getting this as per students, we are getting almost 192, we are getting almost what, 192 mg per liter. This much is consumed. Straightforward question. Yes. And suppose the question is, suppose, suppose, it was, you know, the BOD consumed is asked. Suppose it is asked BOD remaining. What will be your answer? Okay. You can say that it will be 30 because, you know, say initially it was 222. Now, now it is consumed is 192. So, it should be 30. Let us see it's 30 or not. Then it will be what? L0 e to the power minus K into T. So, if you put this formula 222 e to the power minus 0.4 into 5 that is minus 2 are you getting 30 or not you will be getting 30 yes and total you can see is what the ultimate one total is ultimate one. easy we started with easy question we'll see more questions now this is what this is they have given the ultimate bod and they're asking you the bod consumed in a certain period now the second question is you see the five day bod of the waste water is given and that is 190 mg per liter. Now K is given, K is given in per hour. The ultimate oxygen demand, that means what? L0, the initial BOD or the ultimate BOD is asked. Yes. Now thing is that many students get confused when they read this statement 5 days BOD. And they get confused that it is remaining or consumed. But as we discussed, this 5 days BOD means what? It is the consumed BOD, right? As we discussed, it is what? the consumed BOD. So, consumed BOD, yes, so consumed BOD is given, but here, okay, but here, okay, but here, the K is given in per hour, 
yes and it is 5 days so when you're using the formula k into t if you use in per hour and you multiply in day so units will not get cancelled right so you have to convert into per day right you have to convert into per day so if you want to convert into per day what you will do this is per hour is this so per day it will be how much multiply by 24 so this will be k is equal to 0 0.01 into 24 that is how much 0.24 per day now use this and solve the question okay use this and solve the question okay so starting with easy questions then we'll move to the difficult questions okay very easy now now it's very easy right so bod 5 is given means what consumed is given so this is 190 and this is equal to formula is what the ultimate one 1 minus e to the power minus 0.24 into 5 days na t is 5 na t is 5 na yes 5 days okay so when we use this from here l naught how much i am getting as many students have found out almost i can say 272 mg per liter yes let us see the next question third question right third question the ultimate BOD of a river sample is given. The BOD rate constant. Now, natural log means what? Base E. Natural log means what? Base E. See, we can express the um, K in what? We can express the K in base 10 or base E. So, if we are expressing in base 10 or base E, how the equation will vary? If it is written what? Base E. If it is base E, the equation will be what? Lt will be equal to L0 e to the power minus k into t. It is what? It is natural log. It is what? Natural log. Okay. And if it is base 10, if it is base 10, the equation will change to what? L0 10 to the power minus k into t. So if they are not mentioning in the question, by default you can take base E. Okay, if they mention base C or natural log, then obviously take base C. If they write base 10, then take base 10. That depends on the question. Okay, now in this question, what they have asked, the respective BOD percentage exerted means what? Consumed. Exerted means what? Consumed. Okay, and remaining after 7 days. So, consumed means they are asking the BOD in percentage. So, if it is in percentage, what will be the answer? BOD consumed by ultimate BOD right see either asking in percentage this is what BOD consumed in time t by ultimate BOD in 200 yes because whenever you are finding percentage the percentage should be what the percentage should be in terms of what in terms of the initial one right so BOD consumed formula is what L naught 1 minus e to the power minus k into t yes divided by L naught into 100 so L0, L0 get cancelled. It is given here but not required, right? And I can say 1 minus e to the power k is 0 0.15 and t is how much? 7 days, right? So into 7, yes, into 100. So when you find this, you are getting how much? You are getting the percentage as 65% is consumed or exerted. Or you can say exerted. So if 65% is exerted, so how much will be remaining? No need to find now. That will be 35% only, right? Yes or no? If 65% is consumed, then always 35% will be remaining. Yes, yes. Let us have the next question. Question number 4. Okay. So, this is a type of question which they ask a lot. This type of question they ask a lot. What is given? Let us read the question. Let us read the question. 5 days BOD of the waste water is this. So, this is what? Tell me. First, first data which is given, it is BOD consumed or BOD remaining tell me first data which is mentioned here it is BOD consumed or BOD remaining tell me in the comment section first one it is BOD consumed or BOD remaining it is BOD consumed why can 5 day BOD means what 7 day BOD is what it is consumed so it is get given 5 day BOD so consumed so what I, what I can write about the equation L naught 1 minus e to the power minus k into t in t I can write down what 5 days right so this is given as how much 140 mg per liter very good very nice now what is written about the second thing the oxygen demand of the organic matter left after six days that means what left after six days means what they're asking remaining right 
So I can say that L6 because we use this LT for remaining. So I can say this will be L0 e to the power minus k and here t will be how much? 6. They are asking you this thing. They are asking you this thing. So what you will do? What you will do? You have the k, right? You have the k. What you do? From this first equation, you find out the ultimate BOD and then use your second equation and you can find out this answer, right? But better approach is also there. What is the better approach? Now many books write this approach. What? You take, you find out L0 here and use here. But that will lead to, you know, unnecessary calculation. What you can do, you can take the ratio. You can take the ratio. If you take the ratio of BOD consumed in 5 days and BOD remaining after 6 days. If you take the ratio, what will happen? You see, if you take the ratio, what is happening? The L0 will get cancelled. The L0 will get cancelled. So there will be no requirement to what? Find L0. A step will be avoided. And this will be equal to 140. This is what? This is 140. Na? This is 140. Na? This, sorry. This is 140. Na? This BOD5 is 140. So in this place I can write down 140. So from here can I find out this L6? Can you be the answer now? L6 will be how much? You can find out this now. You can find out this. Yes. L6 will be 140 e to the power minus k is 0 0.26 into 6 divided by 1 minus e to the power minus 0 0.26 into 5. Yes. How much are you getting? You are getting a value of almost 40.4. You can depending on you know, how you are rounding up. You can say almost you are getting how much? You are getting this answer as 40.4 mg per liter. Understood? So whenever they ask such a question, Whenever they ask such a question, okay, many students have answered very good, okay. So whenever they ask such a question, what you do? Take ratio, okay. Never find out L0. See, if they ask you L0, suppose an MSQ, it's an MSQ, they're asking you L0, that's a different thing. But it's an MCQ or data entry, numerical uh, NAT question. Then better take like, the ratio, so avoid calculation, okay. Very good. Similarly, solve this question, okay. Solve this question, okay. So this question you solve now. Question number 5, okay, so see, so first we are able to solve so many questions. Question number 5, you solve yourself. Come on, I will be waiting for your answer. Come on, solve this question. Very good, Santu. Very good. Great. Others? Hey, what about others? Come on, past, past. Very good, Kartike. Come on, okay. Why are taking so much time? Very good, very good. See, both data are consumed data, na? 3-day BOD or 5-day BOD, both are consumed data, na? So, BOD 3, so take the ratio, right? BOD 3 by BOD 5. BOD 3 will be what? Ultimate, 1 minus, minus 3 into K, right? And BOD 5 will be how much? L0, 1 minus e to the power 5K, right? Yes. And again, I can cut this L0, L0. See, by this, you can solve very fast, actually, this type of questions. So, BOD3 is how much? It is given 200, right? So, from here, I can say BOD5 will be equal to 200, 1 minus e to the power 5 into 0.22 will be, I can say minus 1.1, .1, okay? Divided by what? 1 minus e to the power, I can say minus 0.66. So, when you solve this, you are getting how much? You are getting around 276.2 mg per liter. You can see so fast you can solve all the BOD questions. So fast you can solve if you can just understand the words. Let us solve another question, question number 6 and 7 here. So two questions are here. Question number 6 and 7. 
okay so first of all there is question for determination of bod first of all there is a question for determination of five day bod okay so how to find out the five day bod how we find out that's in the labs what we do we have our wastewater we have our wastewater okay and suppose this is the volume of wastewater okay wastewater then what we do we add fresh water to this okay we add fresh water to this suppose this is your volume of water and then i get what we get diluted water we get what this is what diluted wastewater this one is what diluted wastewater yes so diluted wastewater total volume will be how much it will be the volume of wastewater plus volume of fresh water that will be diluted wastewater then for this diluted wastewater i will find out what the initial do or dissolved oxygen initial do i for initial do means what dissolved oxygen now i will find out what the do after 5 days okay after 5 days i will find out the do so this is what initial do yes and this is dissolved oxygen after 5 days so initial dissolved oxygen minus final dissolved oxygen after 5 days that means what this will be the bio uh, oxygen demand consumed in 5 days right yes and this i will divide by what the dilution factor this i will divide by what the dilution factor dilution ratio p and what is the dilution factor p it is simply the volume of simply the volume of waste water divided by what the volume of diluted water the volume of diluted water okay so now coming to this question what is written so i'll erase this what i erase this it is written that the waste water was diluted 10 percent diluted 10 percent means what what is the dilution factor then diluted 10 percent means what in the diluted water 10 percent is what 10 percent is waste water yes so i can say if the total volume is 100 ml yes out of that 10 ml is your waste water and your 90 ml was fresh water 90 ml was fresh water this is your waste water and total diluted one is how much is 100 ml so if i find out if i find out dilution factor what was that volume of waste water is how much 10 and then volume of diluted water is what 100 that is how much 0.1 understood everybody how to find out dilution factor dilution factor dilution ratio yes so from here i can find out bod5 okay bod5 then what is written the do content of waste water is this and your fresh water this is what fresh water the fresh water is this after five days do of the diluted sample is 0.5 so the dissolved oxygen final is given how much it is given as 0.5 mg per liter by the way tell me this dissolved oxygen initial and final we are finding for which one waste water fresh water or diluted water tell me this dissolved oxygen initial and final we are finding for waste water yes or fresh water or the diluted waste water tell me tell me in the comment section you're finding for which one you're finding for which one this initial do final do we are finding for the diluted waste water yes so the do of the diluted waste water is given final one after five days so this i wrote but if you see if you see the initial do of waste water is given and fresh water is given of diluted water it is not given so to find out the initial do of the diluted waste water how i will find out that very easy that will be equal to the do of your waste water into volume of waste water plus do of your water or fresh water i can say into volume of water divided by what the total volume divided by what the total volume the total volume nothing is given so i'll assume as i told i'll assume what i'll assume that 
that your total volume is 100. So I can say the waste water will be 10, yes, and the fresh water will be what? 90. So if you put this, if you put this value, right, you see this is what? This is the DO of waste water and this is the DO of fresh water. Can you give me the initial DO of diluted water? Can you give me? Please give me. The initial DO of diluted water, please give me. Yes, just put the values, just put the values. You see, this is the DO of your waste water, 1.2. Volume of waste water is 10. And then DO of your fresh water is 6. And the volume of fresh water is 90. And total volume is anyhow what? Anyhow, 100. So I'm, how much I'm getting? I'm getting 5.52. So I can say by using the equation, I'm getting what? Initial DO of the diluted water, how much? 5.52 mg per liter. Understood how we are finding this BOD5? Yes. So this will be how much? Very easy. This will be how much? 5.52 minus 0.5 and dilution factor. How much I used? I used 0.1. This is giving me how much? How much value I am getting? 50.2, right? I am getting 50.2, right? The BOD5 I am getting how much? 50.2 mg per liter. This is the way we find out what? BOD5 or I can say the BOD consumed in 5 days. Understood everyone? How we find out the BOD consumed in 5 days? Everyone understood? Yes, 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 yes. Very good. Now, once we find out the BOD consumed in 5 days, can I find out the ultimate BOD? Yes, I can find out ultimate BOD. So find out this ultimate BOD. Second question, find out this ultimate BOD but you see, the K given is base 10. So use the equations judiciously and give me what? The ultimate BOD. Okay. So first we found out BOD 5. Now give me the ultimate BOD. Come on. Okay. Kartika has found out. Nikki also found out. Very good. So here what I will tell. BOD 5. The BOD consumed in 5 days. Which we got as 50.2 will be equal to how much? The ultimate BOD. Then what? 1 minus. It is consumed now. 1 minus. Here in place of E I will use what? given base 10. Don't worry. They will write down. So, minus 0 0.12 and 5 days. T is 5 days. So, into 5. Yes. So, when you solve this, we will get L0 as how much? We will get L0 as 67 point, almost 67 I can say, right? Almost 67 mg per liter. So, we solved two questions here. Yes. We solved two questions here. Now, 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 now. They might ask you another question, you know. They will give you this much information and they will ask you, you know what? They will might not ask ultimate beauty. They might ask what? Find BOD consumed in three days. Can you find out? <laughs> BOD remaining after three days. Can you find out this answer? <laughs> find BOD remaining after three days. What is after after seven, eight days? Okay, after eight days. Chalo, chalo. BOD remaining after eight days. Can you find out this answer? BOD remaining after eight days. Can you find out? Tell me the answer. BOD remaining after ten days. 8 days, sorry, 8 days. Remaining means what? I can say L8. This will be ultimate, then 10, 10, 10 to the power, 10 to the power, minus K into your T will be 8. So this will be ultimate one you got, 67. Then 10 to the power what? K is 0.12. So into 8 will be minus, I can say, 0 0.96. Right? So how much are getting this answer? I'm getting 4.22, right? Let me see. 10 to the power minus 0.96 and then multiply by 67. I'm getting 7.34. Huh? 8 into 0.12. Okay. Then 0 minus this. Then 10 to the power. 10 to the power this. I'm getting something else. I'm getting... I am getting 7.34, right? Yeah, 7.34, yeah. You will get 7.34, yes. You will get this answer as 7.35 almost, right? Everybody understood this question or not? Tell me. Ah, no problem. Everybody understood this uh, grand question or not? Where we understood how to find out BOD5? 
okay the bod consumed in 5 days from that you can find out the ultimate bod then you can find out the bod consumed or bod remaining for any other duration okay so this is an interesting question right let us go to the question number 8 okay so before going to question number 8 this is question number 6 and 7 to go to question number 8 we'll see what the effect on temperature on rate constant it's very important the effect of temperature on rate constant so the rate constant k it varies with temperature how it varies if you want to find out at any temperature t that will be equal to the k at temperature 20 degree centigrade then a factor of 1.047 to the power t minus 20. this formula is very important you should remember this is the effect of temperature on what on your rate constant for example if i say k20 is suppose i am telling 0.2 per day suppose i am telling it is 0.2 per day and if i want to find out the k at 25 degree centigrade how will find out first you take 0.2 because that is the k at 20 degree centigrade then 1.047 to the power what t is how much you see this t is 25 here so 25 minus 20 or i can say simply 5 so how much are getting this rate constant tell me how much getting rate constant that is 1.047 to the power your 5 multiplied by what multiplied by 0.2 i am getting how much 0 0.252 0 0.252 so everybody understood the effect of temperature on what rate constant now based on this we'll solve few questions okay so the question is initial do was 9.5 after 5 days, it was found to be 3.5 and this experiment was conducted at 20 degrees centigrade. Okay. Dilution factor is given as 0 0.03 and rate constant is given 0 0.22 per degree at 30 degrees centigrade. You see, this BOD determination, yes, this BOD and this is BOD 5, na, BOD consumed in 5 days. This happened at a temperature of how much? 20 degree centigrade it happened at temperature how much 20 degree centigrade yes it happened at temperature about 20 centigrade so when you use the formula when you use the formula bod5 as how much you will use the formula what the initial do minus the final do divided by dilution factor okay that is how much you're getting value suppose 9.5 minus 3.5 divided by 0 0.03 that is how much i can say 6 by 0 0.03 that i can say you're getting 200 right you're getting how much 200 mg per liter now this you found out at how much temperature this you found out at 20 degree centigrade right because the experiment was conducted at 20 degree centigrade so it is in what find the five day bod at 20 degree centigrade so that we found out first answer we found out very good then they're asking you find out the ultimate BOD means what? L0. Find out ultimate BOD means what? L0. So this 5-day BOD which you have found out, it is BOD consumed. So I can write down what? L0 1 minus e to the power minus k into t. In place of t, I can use 5 because 5 days, right? Now tell me this k which you will use this k which you will use that will be at 20 degree centigrade or 30 degree centigrade tell me this k which you will use that will be at 20 degree centigrade or 30 degree centigrade please mention in the comment section 20 degree centigrade or 30 degree centigrade please mention in the comment section what i will use k will be 20 degree centigrade or 30 degree centigrade will be 20 or 30 hmm 20 some are telling 20 mm -mm. 20 hmm yeah it will be 20 why it will be 20 why it will be 20 because the experiment was conducted at 20 degree centigrade so this bod5 which you have got that experiment is conducted at 20 degree centigrade so rate constant also you should take at 20 degree centigrade yes and therefore we cannot take what? We cannot take this k as 0.22 because that 0.22 is given at 30 degrees centigrade. Understood everyone? Very good. So, first we got the BOD5 at 20 degrees centigrade. 
that we got how much that we got as that we got as 200 mg per liter very good but when you're finding the ultimate bod i cannot take this k as 0.22 so how to find out i have to find out the k at 20 degree centigrade how i'll find out k30 is how much k, can i say k30 is k20 1.047 to the power what 30 minus 20 yes or no <laughs> yes this is the relationship right so from here we know this as 0 0.22, right? 30 degree centigrade is given. So from here, can you find out K20? Please give me K20. Please give me K20 from here. How much is K20 from here? Give me. How much is K20? Give me. How much is K20? Give me. 0.138? Yes. We are getting 0.138 per day. Getting 0.138 per day. Now, once we get this, I can use the relationship now, right? So, BOD5 will be equal to L0, 1 minus e to the power, minus 0.138 into 5. Now, I can use this relationship. Why? Because now I have K at 20 degree centigrade. Why? Because this BOD we found out at 20 degree centigrade. Understood? So, from here, now tell me what is the ultimate BOD you are getting? What is the ultimate BOD you are getting? Please find out and tell me the answer now. Nikki is getting 401.3. Others? So it will be 0 0.1388 something. Now. So you can take 0 0.139 also. You can take and approximately you will get around 400, right? You can take 0 0.139 and approximately you are getting 400 mg per liter, right? Approximately you are getting what? 400 around. Understood? Now, tell me this ultimate BOD which you got. This you got for 20 degree centigrade or 30 degree centigrade. Now tell me. <laughs> Tricky question. So this ultimate BOD which you obtained this 400 milligram per liter. That is for 20 degree centigrade or 30 degree centigrade. Interesting. 20 degree centigrade or 30 degree centigrade. This ultimate BOD we obtained for 20 degree centigrade or 30 degree centigrade. Hey, students are not answering. Ah, it is independent of temperature. Ultimate BOD is independent of temperature. Okay. So this you got for, this, ulti this ultimate BOD is for 20 degree centigrade and 30 degree centigrade both. So if you see this curve, if you see this curve with time, okay, this is the ultimate BOD the ultimate BOD. So, at 20 degree centigrade, suppose this is the curve. At 20 degree centigrade, this is the curve. At 30 degree centigrade, what will happen? The rate constant will be more. The rate constant will be more, so the consumption of BOD will increase. The consumption of BOD will increase. Yes? So, the curve will change. So the curve will change because K is changing. The decay constant is changing, right? The K is actually increasing, right? K is actually increasing. So what will happen? It will get, uh, you know, uh, consumed very fast. Yes, we can say the consumption will be fast. But the ultimate BOD will be same. So if I'm writing the equation, suppose I'm writing BOD 5. I'm writing BOD 5 at 20 degree centigrade. That will be equal to what? That will be equal to, I can say, the ultimate BOD 1 minus e to the power minus k 20 into 5 yes and I write down the bod 5 at 30 degree centigrade at 30 degree centigrade this will be what this will be l naught 1 minus e to the power minus k 30 into 5 so since the k is changing the bod consumed will change since k is changing the bod consumed will change but the ultimate BOD remains same. Understood everyone this thing? Yes? Understood everyone? So, if you are using here BOD 5 at 20 degree centigrade, here you have to use K of 20 degree centigrade. If you are using at 30 degree centigrade, you will use 30 degree centigrade. Sorry, in graph, horizontal line and vertical axis, which value take BOD remaining and consuming? See, if you are drawing C, this curve is, you see, this curve is consumed curve. This curve is what? Consumed curve. 
okay and this is initial view this is consumed curve and the the remaining 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 curve this is the remaining curve this is the remaining curve okay sorry and this will be the consumed curve which will increase right the consumption will increase right with time it will increase right yes and the remaining will decrease okay this will be the curve of what this i can say consumed and this is remaining so this is this curves are what for remaining yes these curves are for remaining now when i told consumed fast see what i told that the bod is consumed fast and therefore what will happen the bod is consumed fast for 30 degree, degree that means the remaining part will be lesser right yes for any time t you can see that for any time t the bod remaining for 30 degree centigrade is less than the bod remaining for 20 degree centigrade na why why because the rate constant is more the consumption will be faster so consumption will be faster for 30 degree centigrade and therefore the bod remaining will be lesser na yes understood this this concept understood everybody understood any doubt any doubt you ask me now this is the last question now any doubt you have in this ask me so you see this is what this was question number eight and nine two questions i told with question number eight and nine any doubt you have if clear then we'll solve the last question so the last question is your see five day bod for a waste water is 180 very good rate constant is 0 0.1 0 0.18 per day at 20 degree centigrade very good the temperature at which 2.5 day bod will have same value as above what is the meaning of this see first of all we have you know bod thing at 20 degree centigrade if it is 20 degree centigrade what is it in the 5 day bod the 5 day bod is given how much the 5 day bod will be l naught 1 minus e to the power minus your point 18 into your time is 5 yes this is the thing yes very good now this thing is at 20 degree centigrade right they are asking you the temperature at which the temperature at which 2.5 day BOD so the temperature we don't know suppose that is T degree centigrade suppose that is T degree centigrade okay so that temperature we are finding what BOD 2.5 right and this BOD 2.5 expression will be what ultimate BOD 1 minus e to the power can I use this same k tell me can I use the same k can I use the same k or different k I have to use can I use the same k or different k I have to use tell me same k or different k can I say you the same k? no temperature is change different k suppose that is kt kt and the time will be what 2.5 the time will be 2.5 now you compare these two equations you compare these two equations what they are telling this bod 2.5 day bod at t degree centigrade is same as 5 day bod at 20 degree centigrade yes or no they have written this thing or not yes what is the temperature at which 2.5 day bod will have same value as above yes so they are indirectly telling that at t degree centigrade we have not mentioned t degree we have taken t degree so unknown temperature at that temperature the 2.5 bod 2.5 day bod is equal to 5 day bod of 20 degree centigrade so i can equate these two equations so when i equate these two equations l naught 1 minus e to the power minus 0 0.9 right means 0 0.18 into 5 and this will be equal to what 1 minus or let me write down this only 0.18 into 5 suppose i write down it here i'm writing down 1 minus e to the power minus kt into 2.5 into l naught now tell me these two l naught will be same or different see rate constants are different okay tell me this l naught will be same or different tell me this l naught will be same or different tell me 
L0 will be same or different? It will be same, yes? Because if you change the temperature, rate constant will change. The BOD remaining, BOD consumed will change. But the ultimate BOD never change. Okay, I explained through the graph, right? So whenever they change the temperature, the rate constant will change, BOD consumed will change, BOD remaining will change, everything will change. But ultimate BOD will not change. So I can cancel these two terms. I can cancel this one and one. So can I say by comparing these equations, two equations, if you compare these two equations, can I say that this term is equal to this term, na? <laughs> yes or no? Therefore, they are coming same. So can I say 0.18 into 5? is equal to how much is equal to your kt into 2.5 now this point 18 is how much actually this is actually k20 now it is actually k20 right it's actually k20 right this point 18 yes so when i find out the relation i get relation what kt is equal to two times of k20 Everybody understood this relationship, how I got everybody understood or not. If not, then ask me. Everybody understood this relationship or not, how I got that the K at that temperature is two times the K at 20 degrees centigrade. Please write in the comment section. Please write in the comment section. Everybody understood this thing or not? Understood? Yes? Again, I will tell. What they have written? At T degree centigrade, the 2.5 day BOD is equal to the 5 day BOD at 20 degree centigrade. So I wrote the expression for 5 day BOD 20, 20 degree centigrade and I wrote 2.5 day BOD for the T temperature. I equated them. Then L0, L0 get cancelled. Now these two quantities, this you know e to the power something, e to the power something will be same when the powers are same, right? So I equate the powers. So this was what? This was K20 into 5 and this became equal to what? K T into 2.5. So what happens? K T is equal to 2 into K20. Now I can find out temperature. How? We got this relation. Kt is equal to 2 times K20. Now what is Kt? Kt at any temperature, how to find out the K? That is K20 1.047 T minus 20. Na? This is the expression. Yes. And this is equal to 2 into K20. So K20, K20 gets cancelled. Right? Uh, what I get? Your this to the power this is equal to 2. Now you can solve this, right? You can solve this and find out what? The value of T. How to solve? Take ln. If you take ln, what will happen? This will become T minus 20 ln 1.047 and this will become what? ln 2. Yes? If you take uh, ln both sides, I will get this. Now ln 1.047 will get something around 0 0.046 okay? T minus 20 and this I will get ln2, ln2 is 0.693. So from here I can get 0.693 divided by 0 0.046. Okay, now I'm getting around what? 15 degrees centigrade. So this I'm getting what? T minus 20 is equal to 15 degrees centigrade. And I can say T is equal to 35 degrees centigrade. Yes? So everybody understood this final question, which was the best question out of the lot and this is your question number 10. So ladies and gentlemen, we solved 10 questions of BOD. Hope you enjoyed the lecture, right? Let us revise the lecture, what you have studied, okay? Let us revise the lecture. So what we studied is that, first of all, that BOD consumed is written like this, this is consumed. And this is the ultimate BOD, 1 minus e to the power minus k into t, right? And then we understood that the remaining one is this, right? So many times people get confused between which is, which is remaining and which is what? Consumed. So always remember, this is what? This is the remaining equation, right? And this is what? This is the consumed equation, right? And which change in temperature, okay? When change in temperature, ultimate BOD don't change, K changes. K changes, okay? So with all these things, I hope you will enjoy this particular lecture, okay? So we'll be coming up with more, uh, more, uh, co uh, so we can say, videos like this, where I'll be solving what? Top 10 questions, top 30 questions, top 40 questions. See, if it is numerical based, then I'll be uh, taking top 10 questions. And if it is uh, theoretical, then I'll be taking top 20 or 40 questions, depending on what? The topic. Like, suppose I am planning to come up with, uh, you know, top 40 questions of uh, cement or top 20 questions of... Uh, 
विटामिन यस लाइक दिस वी विल बी हैविंग सो मेंस ऑफ सीरीज सो प्लीज स्टे ट्यून थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर जॉइनिंग फॉर द क्लास सी इन वन आवर यू गॉट सो मच ऑफ बेनिफिट राइट इन वन आवर यू अंडरस्टूड यू नो द बीओडी थिंग राइट हाउ टू यूज द इक्वेशंस एंड यू सॉ 10 क्वेश्चंस आल्सो राइट यस वेरी गुड थैंक यू वेरी मच बेस्ड ऑन एचआरटी आरआईएस या या विल हैव विल हैव लॉट ऑफ सेशंस थैंक यू वेरी मच बाय बाय सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम प्लीज स्टे ट्यून टू द चैनल please subscribe to this channel okay so i'll be taking all my lectures on this channel actually from 13th of november please subscribe to the channel and then uh, also subscribe to the telegram group okay because you get the updates from telegram group okay thank you very much bye bye see you next time soon